How to refuse to tolerate even the slightest disloyalty. Disloyalty is cancerous and deadly. Disloyalty is an invisible, silent, and often unnoticed decision by someone close to you to destroy your dream and participate in your downfall. This individual is the worst kind of enemy you will ever have in your life. Counter spies almost always receive life sentences. Why? Because courts do not deal lightly with someone who is a silent invisible destroyer of the nation in which they live. A spy from another country will get off with a lighter sentence than a citizen whose disloyalty has caused the death of many. Treason is not a character flaw. It is the absence of character a purposeful decision to use the information they have to destroy their own nation. Solomon watched his father, King David, make the mistake of his lifetime the tolerance of disloyalty. I would encourage you to read this unforgettable story from 1 Kings 2. Solomon watched the tragedy unfold before his eyes on a daily basis. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into today's personal development video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video, and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now, because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross, and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's personal development topic. Absalom was the handsome son of David. He envied the splendor, popularity, and prosperity of his father. So, he would stand and greet the people personally outside the palace each day. Like tiny drops of poison, his words fell into the ears of the citizens of Israel. He sowed uncertainty, doubt, and discord by insinuating that David was too busy to really listen to their concerns or care about their difficulties and tears. He made himself available to them, and literally stole the hearts of the people David had led for so many years. One of the most vile acts became his habit, he slept with his father's concubines. Absalom did not have a character flaw. He had no character. He flaunted his sin, sneering at the greatness of his father. And yet, David did not confront him properly. As David permitted him to continue to live and exist, Solomon watched this charade parade before him. He saw the kingdom come apart because of David's tolerance of wrong people close to him. When General Job defied David's instructions by killing Absalom, disrespect for David was obvious. In some ways, Solomon was wiser than his father, David. He reigned in peace for many years, primarily because he dealt swiftly and decisively with disloyalty. David permitted disloyalty to linger and his entire reign was one of warfare. The story recorded in 1 Kings 2 is quite detailed. Solomon's brother Adonijah desired the throne, but after one special act of mercy and grace, Solomon saw the slimy hand of envy and jealousy attempt to choke and destroy the kingdom. When Adonijah expressed his desire to Bathsheba, Solomon's mother, to take the concubine of David for himself, it was too much. Solomon saw the truth about his own brother. Solomon confronted the problem decisively. He killed Adonijah, and his peaceful reign continued. Successful people are always envied. They are also hated. Does that surprise you? These uncommon achievers are often despised by those who want to climb the ladder to the top. Donald Trump says, one of the problems when you become successful is that jealousy and envy inevitably follow. There are people, I call them life's losers, who get their sense of accomplishment and achievement from trying to stop others. You will always have flawed people in your life. Every person has some degree of damage, personal pain, and incompetence. Those who work around you will make mistakes in decision making and judgment. These mistakes are often the result of misinterpretation of data or trusting the wrong people. So, you will have a multitude of opportunities to show mercy and graciousness. Kindness is always a good seed when it is planted in the proper soil. However, uncommon people must recognize the devastating results of tolerating disloyalty close to them. You see, when you tolerate untruthful, critical, and cunning betrayers, it endangers the progress of the truthful, caring, and faithful around you. Several years ago, I made a difficult decision. I travel a great deal, and depend on supervisors to solve any problems that arise in the office. 
Though I was rarely around, I kept hearing reports of disloyalty, disunity, and unhappiness. I could not understand it. Though I spent little time at the office, those I worked with on a daily basis seemed quite happy toward me. There was no ill will at all. Yet, the reports persisted. Then, I began to hear that some of my most loyal and faithful associates were considering working in other places. This stunned me. Their dissatisfaction had never been discussed with me personally. So, I began to analyze and interview each person. I discovered six people who were continuously poisoning the others toward me. I was shocked. You see, these six people were the ones to whom I had given the largest bonuses and the best gifts. They were the ones I tried the most to please. Yet, they envied the wonderful things that happened to me. They were jealous, envious, and competitive. They sowed their critical spirit into precious and wonderful people who were never around me. The seeds began to grow. I fired all six of these individuals in one afternoon. I wondered what would happen. I knew the workload would increase for the others, and I had no idea who I would hire to replace them. I only understood one thing strife cannot be tolerated. Ever. It destroys too many good people. What happened was remarkable. I walked into my office the next day, and it felt like heaven on earth. Those whose countenances had been clouded with uncertainty and fear were happy and joyous. The cloud had lifted. The rainbow had come. Disloyal people are wrong people. When wrong people leave your life, wrong things stop happening. One of the biggest mistakes of my entire life has been to tolerate harmful people too long. Disloyalty is not like a common cold. You cannot take two aspirin and go to bed. Disloyalty is more like a cancer racing throughout your body. Here are three characteristics of disloyal people. 1. Disloyal people do not want you to change. They want you removed. 2. Disloyal people do not believe they are wrong. They believe you are wrong. 3. Disloyal people do not pursue a solution to the problem. They believe you are the problem. No amount of money can turn a disloyal employee into a loyal one. It is not a money issue. It is a character issue. The following six keys will help you deal with disloyalty. 1. Do not lie to yourself about a disloyal person. Be honest and face it with your heart. 2. Make certain that all the facts can be proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. Gossip is not fact. There are good people whose names have been stained because someone pointed a finger at them. Do not receive every report as truth. 3. Give the person accused their right to be heard. Bring in everyone involved. Recently, one of my staff members made a statement to another staff member. I immediately called every person involved into my office. It is usually unwise to listen to an accusation against someone not present. If you want to discuss an accusation against another person, be sure to have the accused in your presence when the accusation is made. 4. Ask sincere and appropriate questions of those you feel might be disloyal. Compare their answers with their actions. Stop reading lips and start reading footprints. 5. Discuss with the person the reasons why he or she is being fired. Be honest and open, and make it as fair and equitable as possible. 6. Make certain the terminated person's departure is conducted with gentleness, dignity, and legal protocol. You can be sued easily if you fail to handle a termination properly. Always consult with your lawyer. Make certain that every penny you owe that person is paid in full. A severance pay is appropriate, it is better to make the sacrifice now than end up with years of ill will sown in your direction. Solomon refused to tolerate disloyalty in any way. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon, our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.